I mean, we suggest in the manual that, say, uh, V40, V30, Kraken, they can take EL34s or 6L6s. Um, there are equivalents of those valves, like a 6L6 could be a 5881, uh, an EL34 might be a KT77 or a 6CA7, which is a different valve with same characteristics, same pinout. Um, so yes, um, if it's the same as a 6L6 or an EL34, yes, it will it will take it. Some spec sheets, um, it seems on uh, depending on the age of the spec sheet of a 5881, will suggest that perhaps a 5881 can't take the plate voltage. Um, however, you can try it. The um, modern production will probably be exactly the same as a 6L6 with a different glass envelope. So the internal structure of it will be the same. Some older ones may you may find they don't like it. And what you will you will see if if a valve is is unhappy with say an extra I don't know thirty volts on the anode you might start to see what is referred to as red plating. So keep an eye out for that sort of thing. And that will suggest to you, that will tell you that the valve's drawing too much current. Um, now, it may be that that particular valve, if it's an old, new old stock valve, which sometimes they're not new old stock, they're just plain second hand used and worn out. Be careful. Um, if, it, if a valve's drawing too much current, you can reduce the bias, you get the amp bias by a tech. Um, I would suggest do it yourself if you're happy to, but really if you've any doubts, don't poke around. Um, get it rebiased. If it continues to do it, then the valve's not happy in there and don't use it, you know, put, uh, put what was in there to begin with that it came out the factory with, unless there's a problem. Um, so yes, they're, they're, it, we're not just restricted to EL34s or 6L6s, um, but again, make sure that you understand what the characteristics are and what they are most like when you install them, and do get them rebiased. Uh, KT88s, now they are a different kettle of fish. Um, we haven't, honestly, I've, I've never put a pair of KT88s in any of the Victory designs. Um, they are the base of them, although they are pin compatible, the base of them is bigger. So you may even need to take off the, the spring clip, the retaining clip that sort of helps hold the valve in place. Um, you may need to, to remove that from your amp. Um, but I wouldn't recommend trying it because I actually don't know how they would cope in there. I'm sure they'd cope. They'd put up with the voltages because they're designed to put up with a lot more but how they sound and any advice on biasing etc I can't give you because I've we've not bothered to go down that route 